سانكسو بارك باحث أمني رئيسي في فريق البحث والتحليل العالمي في كاسبيرسكي جريات في منطقة آسيا والمحيط الهادئ بارك باحث شغوف في مجال البرمجيات الخبيثة ومعلومات التهديد والاستجابة للحوادث يتمتع بخبرة واسعة في مجال أمن المعلومات وتحليل البرمجيات الخبيثة ومجال استخبارات التهديدات على نطاق أوسع وهو يعمل الآن في فريق البحث والتحليل العالمي في كاسبيرسكي كباحث أمني رئيسي ويركز على تحليل وتتبع التهديدات الأمنية في منطقة آسيا والمحيط الهادئ I usually tracking some sophisticated APT actors targeting the APEC region, especially the APT actors targeting the South Korea. And I'm here to present about my research regarding the specific APT group we call the Lazarus, and they attack the new, they, you know, launched the new campaign recently, so I want to share that information to the people, so I'm here to present about that. Yes, it was from the one detection. They uh, we found the larger malware from the uh, South Korean company. They were they were software vendor. But interesting part, this this uh, malware was uh, created by other software vendors' the program, which means that they this kind of legitimate program was uh, abused by the threat actors. So I start to investigate it and I found a new malware from the infection and this malware who developed, uh, sorry, this company who developed that software was uh, under the uh, target of the, this group almost four years and they finally, uh, larger group start to use the vulnerability of this software and they start to spread their malware using this vulnerability and Using this vulnerability, they attacked another software. Maybe they want to steal addi additional software vulnerability from other software vendor. So that's a very interesting point, point for me. And I also found some connection with the other campaign of this group. So I present about that at this class. The number is uh, limited to our telemetry or other you know, research source, so it's not 100% it's not confirmed, but it's not widely infected because they just want to infect a uh, small victim because they, want to, they, they don't want to expose themselves to the public, so they minimize their infection and they try to deliver their malware precisely to the victim, only interesting victim, so it's not big. Next 12 months, it's the, uh, what, I, what I really feel recently is the threat actor is a really well understand of the defense mechanism of security product and they adopt the new technique to evade the detection. You know, recently the many security vendor and security, you know, researcher talk about the EDR product and the new detection kind of technique. but. So the director also well understand about that and they always add the new tricks to evade that detection. So I always see that kind of, uh, you know, change of, of threat landscape. So, so the threat director might be keep adding their techniques to evade this new detections. And recently the many techniques, new techniques uh, uh, makes them make their technical difference uh, very uh, fast. It's uh, including also s like a s security researcher, they, they also might uh, adopt a new technique like uh, artificial intelligence and they speed up their, you know, development of their malware or techniques using that kind of technology. Great, like our team. <laughs>